some bitch. You can follow Tom on Instagram and I would highly recommend it. So why don't you tell us all how that got started So and a little bit about that. A couple years ago, my wife and I decided we were gonna have a little tractor party, have a few people over to the farm. And we decided we were gonna raise money for Alzheimer's. So we charged five dollars an adult for Alzheimer's, and the last two years we've had the party. Each year we raised three thousand dollars. So that's not bad for some people just having a little tractor show in their backyard. So we needed to come up with a name. So we couldn't think of a good name. So I got thinking one day. I said, "What if we call it some unique machines brought into commemorate history? You take each of them letters, it comes out some bitch." So we thought that was kind of cute. We had t-shirts made up, catchy name. Uh, everybody thought it was a good idea except my daughter and uh, a few other people. But uh, so last year we were down in, with the uh, New York corn growers. We were down in uh, Orlando. A friend of mine is an agronomist and he said, you know, we should you should start an Instagram page. And I'm not on any social media, so I said, I don't have time. So he said, let's just set you up an Instagram what's your name going to be? So just kind of as a joke, I said, the farming some bitch. So he said, okay, that's what it is. So I got just shy of 1,800 followers since March. So it's been a lot of fun. I've talked to growers actually all over the world, actually. So uh, it's just been kind of fun. So the yes. tractor show, you, you want something, uh, a busy person needs to have more stress in his life, but uh, it's, it's been fun. <laughs> that's how Star was born. That's how it starts. That's how it starts. So you also, so that's really interesting, but you also have a really interesting story about how you got started in farming to begin with. So where we're combining it today, my dad and brother farm about five miles from here. So we, uh, I grew up on a dairy farm, worked for a guy, and about 10 years ago, well, it was 10 years ago, we decided my wife and I wanted to start farming. So we, we rented some ground. We owned a little bit of land with a partner, but uh, we rented some ground. It was like 26 miles from home, nothing special, junk combine, junk planter. And uh, the next year we scraped up enough money to build a pool barn. And now we've turned into a shop that we jokingly call some bitch corporate headquarters. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we're the, the ball slowly started rolling. We've got a couple combines now, we custom harvest. We only farm 700 acres, but we custom harvest another 1,500. We have a couple tractor trailers we truck with, and we sell seed, and uh, any number of other things that you, if it's a billable hour, I'm gullible, You're gonna I'll do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm not, we're gonna get into the hard questions. Actually, there's only one more question. <laughs> so what's your favorite part about being a farmer? All of it. All of it. I love. I, I love the challenge. Uh, not every day is a good day. When I post up on Instagram or talk to people, uh, most, most people don't want to hear about your problems. They got their own. So I try to try to stay positive. Our son works for us full time. My wife's uh, full time stay at home farm wife. She does the book work, uh, runs grain buggy, runs a little bit of tractor. Uh, What's she, up with you? That's right. That's right. Puts up with me. Does all this. I tell her she does all the things I don't want to do. It's an amazing amount of footwork and things like that. And, she, and billing and uh, she she keeps she does all the stuff that, that I'm not real good at. And uh, we make a great team. So uh, yeah, to have her son working for us full time. He's 22. That's exciting. He's running one combine today. I'm running the other. And uh, yeah, we got we got a couple part time guys that help us out. So. I love growing crops. Ever since I was a little kid, I had a garden when I was little, and then uh, just, you know, I, every day I feel fortunate that I got to do what I think I was born to do, and that's to be a farmer. All right, so Tom has an official sign off that he does every time he checks out of Instagram, and let's go, let's do it. It's a great day to feed the world. Hope you are too. <laughs>